All right, guys, I had this before on my channel, and it's really just to be able to get the clutch off. So instead of having a puller, uh, this is the the hydraulic or the, the hydro lock method. And all you do is you get the right bolt that will fit into these top threads on the clutch here. And you can thread that in, but what happens is uh, you pour water down in there. You obviously have yourself some type of pry bar here to lock the clutch and stabilize it while you're turning the bolt here. It doesn't even get real tight, but what you do is you just put water down in there. You could put oil too, but water is cleaner. So I've done oil before and it's just nasty cleaning it up. So you just thread this bolt in there after you put uh, a nice good wrap of Teflon tape on the end of there. And you can use the gas, I mean, this is the regular pipe, uh, you know, like water pipe. You can use the gas style, which is yellow, it's thicker. Um, this does fine, well, you know, whatever type of Teflon, Teflon tape you have on hand. And then you put the water down there all the way to the top, you thread this in, and then just keep threading it slow. And what happens is, is it seals the, the threading hole there with the water inside and you're compressing that water. Well, it's putting what's happening is it's putting pressure between the bolt that is threaded into the clutch and the end of the crank. So essentially what it does is just builds up enough pressure and just pops right off. So that's what I'm gonna do is uh, show you guys that real quick. All right, so the water's all the way at the top. And this is a grade eight bolt. You can always tell the, the bolt grade, well, not always. Normally you can with quality bolts. It'll have however many lines are on the top of the head of the bolt. You just add two and that's your grade. I just picked up a grade eight bolt. It is, uh, I believe it's a 9 16th fine thread. And the head on this one is a 15 16th. And just start threading it in. Hopefully we'll get good results this first time. go it's that simple folks I don't take clutches off any other way now That's it. To me, that's the only way to do it. The first time I saw this was on Power Mods channel, and he had to do it a few times. Um, he actually skipped forward on the video, but yeah, I'm to the point now where it's it's pretty uh, cut and dry on what to do and where to where to place the Teflon there. You just want to make sure you have a couple threads that are free on the end of the the bolt there. And uh, you just wrap it to where there's like a high spot in the middle is how I've done it. You know, to where it's kind of like a wedge. It'll just get thicker and thicker and thicker as you're screwing it in. And then it'll eventually, if not right from the beginning, just start forming a really good seal. You get that hydro lock and builds pressure and pow, just like you guys saw it. So Easy peasy, water squeezy. <laughs> 
All right, guys, that's it. I just wanted to show you real quick how I pop off clutches on these Arctic Cats. Pretty simple. You just pull the clutch bolt out. You get your bolt of choice ready. Put some Teflon tape on it. You secure the clutch with a pry bar. Then you just screw that screw and crank it till it pops. It's pretty simple, guys. So, yeah, if you guys are not subscribed, please feel free to subscribe to the channel. Hit the alert bell so you receive notifications of future updates of this series and more. And go ahead and feel free to drop in, say hello, just chit chat or something. Uh, give some friendly advice, guys, ask a question. I'm always good for uh, you know, trying to help people out. So, yeah, if you know anybody else as well that's interested in this type of content, please feel free to share on social media with family and friends. So, all right, guys, thanks a lot. Take care. Come on back. See you.